There's actually 21 great rides at the moment. Um, the status is there's 12 are fully open, um, including two new ones. Those two new ones are the Otago Rail Trail, um, which obviously was one of the, um, the, the, the early ones, and also um, the Queen Charlotte Track. So that's just been opened um, in January this year. Uh, three are intended to be open uh, mid-year, uh, with another four at the end of this year and early part of next year. Uh, there are two great rides that actually will be nearly fully open by the end of the year, but they've actually got a phase two phase which will take a few extra years to complete um, due to the funding constraints. And uh, there is a very, very good chance that we might have another two great rides by the end of 2013. Um, one in the bottom of the North Island and the other one is around about the middle of the South Island. I probably won't say any more than that. <laughs> but you probably get yeah, Wellington and basically um, in Christchurch. Okay, so essentially that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to realise a fully connected network throughout New Zealand. So it's about 1,300 kilometres in, in total at the moment. A um, few other applications sitting on my desk at the moment. So um, going forward, um, we should actually have another um, another about 12, 1300 by the end of the year. And um, those routes, yeah, they start to have a few issues on them, um, but we're working through the local, the local authorities and routes to basically see if we can realise their, their potential. But yeah, expanding the network certainly has a number of benefits, both economic, uh, basically more people cycling, and, and obviously a broader appeal for cycling in New Zealand. So personally, huge potential. Uh, it's just a matter of actually realising that potential. Basically, we're moving from a transition from uh, what was a Ministry of Economic Development project managed and led to an entity that's actually going to manage, market and promote the cycle trails going forward. So, the end of last year, early this year, um, a establishment board was, um, was set up. And so, their role is to basically market, promote and basically set standards and all those things that are going to make the New Zealand cycle trail, you know, what it potentially could be in the future. And our organisation has been a partner along that journey, um, been supporting, advising with my time, etc, etc. So we've also given a commitment to, to MB on, on, on support going forward. Yes, there is some challenges and barriers ahead. Okay, a lot of them is obviously is road maintenance and, 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 and funding and sorting out some of those issues on the network. It's, it's predominantly shoulder width. In other words, our criteria says um, you know, to meet a certain grade, primarily grade four, it needs to have a certain um, shoulder width um, that it co correlates with the number of vehicles travelling on that road. So a lot of our roads don't have the adequate shoulder width, so it's actually meant of um, increasing the shoulder and or addressing some of those pinch points on bridges, etc, etc. So yes, there is some expense um, that we are challenged with going forward. And, and I suppose that's an opportunity as well. Um, you guys are kind of representing most of the cycling sector, so there is an opportunity if you feel this is a good thing, um, work together collaboratively, this might be one of your key projects, you know, to, to realise this vision. So how, how, how are we going to make that happen? Friends on the outside would be pretty important to, um, to make this happen. Um, we're continuing to accept applications on routes to connect this network up. So we're still realising that map that you saw earlier. Um, and obviously we are looking for any opportunity we can, both within our organisation and uh, I suppose within uh, the government funding opportunity to see if we can actually um, seek some investment to actually make it happen. So in other words, um, we've got a phase two project which is about $2 million worth of um, treatments which will actually be the first stage. So if we can trigger that, great. Um, next stage is say 15, 20 million, trigger that, great. Um, so it's actually it's part of the journey to realise this, um, this, this network.